Next, we'll be doing a lat pull down. Now, the key with a lat pull down is you want to engage the lats. That's why it's called a lat pull down. So, the thing that happens though is if you have any kind of shoulder issue or something like that, and your arms come above the shoulder, you start putting a lot of pressure on your rotator cuff, which are the muscles inside the shoulder. So, with this one, you want to be a little bit careful when you're first starting out to make sure you don't have any pain in the shoulders. You can either do it with an underhand grip, an overhand grip, or a wide grip. The wide grip is going to be harder on the shoulders. The closer grip is going to be easier on the shoulders. Today we're going to start with a close grip underhand pull down. So go ahead and flip your grip over. Bring them in a little bit. There you go. So what you're looking for is you're looking for your hands to be right kind of in front of the shoulders. Right? So I'm right here if I'm doing an underhand. I can be a little bit wider if I'm doing an overhand. But I'm right here with that underhand grip. I let my arms come all the way up. And then you pull down to your collarbone. So you're pulling all the way down right there. Now here's the key with the lat pull down. The shoulder blades pull down and we engage the lats. So you, the lats stay engaged the whole time you're doing this. Pull in your belly button just to get a little bit of core engagement, just for funsies really. And then let this come up again. Yep, it comes all the way up, then you pull it down again. Yep, engaging from the lats. Now if you focus on engaging the lats, you'll get way more out of this exercise than if you don't. Um, engaging the core is kind of just bonus, but it's always a good idea to do. You, you inhale on the way up, exhale on the way down.